JP. We're gonna answer some questions. First question is from MG Payne 92. What's your favorite artist or band? And is there a song that gets you fired up before competition? I don't have a particular favorite band as such. I really do enjoy going to concerts when we have time. Patrick and I enjoy going to the likes of Bruno Mars, um, JP. Michael Bublé, Pink. The only music I listen to before competition is my freestyle, if we're about to ride the freestyle to music. Otherwise, it's peace and quiet and, and really focus. Next question is from R Gray 11805. With young horses, what do you feel is the best foundation? So, with young horses, trust and confidence from the horse are really two of the most important things. The horse has to trust that you're not going to ask him a question that he's not capable of answering, that he doesn't have the skills to answer, and he has to be confident in his work. Um, also, basics, 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 basics about everything. So, really getting the ability to, to stop and to go, turn left, turn right, straight lines, corners, circles. Um, and when you go to a competition, um, at, with a young horse, initially we're not so focused on, on winning, we're just focused on giving the horses good experience, getting them to like the idea of going to shows, that they start having fun at shows, and initially we're not too worried if they, if they you know, come at the front of the line or in the middle of the line, we just want them to build happy experiences. You are the most annoying horse ever. Okay, next question is from Rebecca Keen Dressage. What is your favorite movement to ride? For me, I love to ride and I love to train the canter pirouettes. I really love the, you know, over the, over the years of training, developing the ability of the horse to really collect in the canter and then teaching them to, to canter on this tiny little circle on the, you know, virtually staying on the spot. That's, that's my favorite movement. Um, I think JP's favorite movement here is probably passaging. Um, he loves to do it. You just Set him off into the passage and he'll he'll just keep doing it for for ages and ages. So that's his favorite. Next question is from Nikita Ware. How do you and JP cope with show nerves and perform with such confidence in such big atmosphere that shows? I wasn't always so so confident in the big atmospheres. Um, Patrick has really been a huge help for me to to get control of my nerves and he really helps me to stay focused. Um, in those atmospheres and really focus on so that I focus on me and I focus on him on the things that are important and leave the other things outside. To be confident in yourself and in your performance you need to know that you've done your homework you also need to know that you're really looking after your horses um, so that when you do ask them to perform uh, in places that are not a natural environment for a horse, so going into a stadium with five or ten or twenty thousand people, that they feel confident in themselves and that they also feel um, that they want to perform for you. That's really important. And we we are very confident in the fact that we have we have happy, healthy horses who want to work for us, who do it because they enjoy it, and um, then we can really have fun together and we can we can perform on the biggest of stages. This question is from Helen Ditchkiss. Does JP like to go for a hack? Hi Helen. Helen is a big fan of JP and uh, we've actually met Helen at a couple of shows and we really enjoy that. JP does like to go for a hack. He actually really likes to go for a hack. He gets very excited though. And JP is, as a lot of you know, an extrovert with his emotions. So he, he lets it all out when he's out hacking. And uh, it can mean we have PF and cantering backwards and sideways and all sorts of things, so he has great fun. Um, me sometimes not so much, but we enjoy it anyway. Next question is from Caroline Barber. What got you into dressage and did you always want to get to the top of the sport? So when I was uh, riding ponies, I was very competitive and used to compete in every class I could at the shows. So at some point this involved doing some dressage and I qualified for our national championships and decided I needed to 
maybe get a lesson or two, my thing. And uh, was instantly fascinated by what horses could learn and what you could do with them when they were using their bodies in the right way. So I very quickly fell in love with dressage. Um, I am a very competitive person. So if I do something, I like to do it to win and do it to the best of my ability. So uh, I guess, yes, I always did want to get to the top of the sport. Next question is from Tanya English. Do you ever jump at home as an exercise? Yes, we do try and include lots of variety for our horses. So jumping is a part of that. JP here does love to have a little bit of a jump. Um, obviously, we don't jump them very big, but we use it as a gymnastic exercise. So we will do sometimes a little bit of um, like little grids, um, a couple of little fences, and uh, most of them really have fun doing it, JP in particular. Um, I used to have a horse who actually was a Grand Prix horse, remember? Uh, he, he was very funny. He would come up to the fence, stop, snort, and then jump over it with all four legs in the air at once, so a bit like a helicopter. Uh, but even he had fun doing it, and you know, even if they're not the most talented at it, if they have fun, we like to do it for the variety, along with hacking out and lunging, and, and we keep as many different things for the horses uh, exercise-wise to, to keep them happy and healthy. Next question is from Darby Savoka. What was your first Grand Prix test like? Wow, yeah, first Grand Prix test. That would have been when I was living and competing down in Bavaria in the south of Germany, um, when I first came to Germany. Uh, it's the first Grand Prix test you ride uh, when you, after pre St. George level are a bit like comparing the hills of Holland to the, to the Alps of, of uh, Bavaria. It's a real eye-opener, the, the speed at which everything comes up, even though you practice it obviously at home, when you go and do it in a show atmosphere, it is quite different. So from, at the beginning, you know, I think the, the biggest thing about the Grand Prix work is just the speed that everything comes. You have, to, you have to get your reactions so fast. So at the beginning, it's just about learning to be quick enough with everything. And then over time, you can refine it and make it better. So this question is from Kmare3. How did your partnership with JP come to be? Um, at the time that I was looking for a new horse, uh, I had already ridden a couple of horses to Grand Prix level, and I was looking for a new younger horse so I could start training him or her myself. Um, we'd been looking for quite a long time for a horse, and then we came across this person on a trip to Holland. Um, and when I first rode him, I just loved his energy and his go and um, his personality, <laughs> which is still very evident. Um, and I also thought for a jazz, he wasn't particularly spooky, so I quite liked that. Um, and how could you not just fall in love with this face? Um, and sometimes it really is that, it's just falling in love and knowing that you have to be together. At the beginning, it was a wasn't always an easy partnership. Um, JP, if he didn't understand what you were asking him, he would just sort of offer you everything he knew all at once, which uh, could be, you know, entertaining for the for the rider. We have a, a great bond now, and you know, JP will now go into you know virtually any situation and any stadium and perform to the best of his ability because he love he loves to work and we. We love to show off what we can do, and we just love each other. <laughs> this question is from Strides. What's it like being one of the international dressage riders from Ireland? So there are there are pros and cons in being one of one of the dressage riders from quite a small country. Um, certainly at the beginning, when I first came. To, or first was competing internationally, having competed in Ireland was probably gave me a false sense of security because of a because there wasn't so much competition. Um, I probably thought I was better than I was when I came then to Germany. I got certainly a bit of a shock when I went to my first competitions when I realised that the depth of of uh, quality of riders here from 
from ponies all the way up through the levels. So um, I do feel it's quite important if you can, when you come from a small country, to try and get out of that small pool of competition and really um, throw yourself into a into a into a bigger country in terms of dressage and, and get more exposure. So I think that's important. Um, but saying that, you know, the the enthusiasm for dressage in Ireland is huge at the moment, and we are getting better and better all the time. Down, down, down. Um, and that can really be seen last year at the European Championships where the girls in green qualified the first dressage team for Ireland for the Olympics. Um, so we are really looking forward to, to getting to the Olympics next year and um, showing them what Ireland can do at this level now. Thank you for all your great questions. JP and I really enjoyed answering them and we really look forward to seeing you all soon and we hope you all stay healthy and happy and safe. Bye!